So this process of Chinese students studying abroad uh, started in the late uh, 1970s when China started its uh, opening up policy. And uh, during the first two decades, which is the 1980s and 1990s, we see that uh, there are more Chinese students studying abroad than coming back. So China experienced this uh, brain drain uh, phenomena. But after the new century, especially during the past uh, decade, since China's economy is developing so fast and uh, like Chinese household has uh, increasing disposable income and we pay high priority in education investment. Uh, therefore, we, we have uh, more uh, students going out, but at the same time coming back. And uh, we see this pattern of uh, international students coming back and forth, we call it brain circulation. Uh, so for the global trend, there are uh, statistics from uh, the United Nations agencies from uh, like the Chinese government. Uh, but for like municipal level and for uh, like if we want to target at this uh, Chinese returnees, uh, population specifically is it's really difficult because we need to do the survey uh, ourselves. For example, uh, during my presentation, my data mainly come from a survey conducted by our center, our think tank, and uh, one of the largest uh, uh, online recruit recruiting and uh, job hunting websites. Mm -hmm.